everybody would. But I didn't get depression. But last September, driving up north to the northeast, out of nowhere, in a car, lots of laughter going on, the color started to drain from my life. And that's what's happened so many times. I can go to bed having had the best night of laughing yourself, laughing till you wet yourself laughter, which I do frequently, that's another story. <laughs> um, and wake up in the morning and it's there. And nothing has happened. No thoughts have gone through my mind. It's a chemical imbalance that happens. And it's like the, 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 the reason why clinical depression is so debilitating and isolating is because if you had a physical illness that was really, really, really serious, nobody would come to you, nobody would come and say, well, you've had that a month now and you look all right. I think you should, you know, get yourself up and try and go for a run, you'll feel much better. Nobody would do that. And so all I strive for is to have parity between the importance of physical health and, and, and mental health and for people to understand that this is not an indulgence. It's not what have you got to